who angry has for the Omaja Mamino, Mia Maniaji in Tino, Omon Cosso, no Monia, the Omo Ayan, make sure a queer for a cry. So I'm more your mom, that's all more your queer noir. Angry has for no more quite the Omoko Boma, almost a bread and your In twenty twenty. I participated in a program organized by AgriHouse called LIF. And in the training, I studied how to produce yogurt. I have been able to use the knowledge I acquired to produce my own yogurt. And so far, it's been good. I sell in large quantity. I am a beneficiary from ASTAG in the year 2018. ASTAG was an event organized by AgriHouse Foundation where we were mentored, trained, and taken to places to learn and start business on our own. During the training sections and the mentorship programs, I learned a lot. I've learned how to establish a farm, how to manage it myself, and how to keep a good record. Well, I am a beneficiary of One Household, One Garden project undertaken by AgriHouse, and I'm so blessed um, for taking part in that event. The lessons I learned from the one household, one garden, was enormous in the sense that during COVID time, when there wasn't so much activity to do, I took part in this event and it made me uh, busy, it occupied me. As little as I am, at the age of 21, I supply pineapple to factories, example HPW, which is fresh and dry, and as time goes on, I employ colleagues friends of mine as contract workers to work on the farm. In 2021, I participated in AgriWomen Marketplace by AgriHouse Foundation. So out of the discussion we had to AgriWomen Marketplace, I learned how to work as women in agri business. I also learned how to promote your brand on social media. AgriWomen Marketplace is a place to be. It should not end. Let's just speak, some of us came really just registered to come and sell our product, but we really benefited beyond selling of product. So it's a thing that I think it should really be done on month on month basis because it's very helpful. I think one household, one garden made tremendous impact on my life because I became an influencer in my community uh, because I was farming and it was so attractive. I mean, other uh, homes, homeowners who were around got interested, approached me, and I taught them how to farm. I want to say a very big thank you to AgriHouse for its initiatives. And I want to urge government organizations and private organizations to come on board and help support their foundation. I'm calling on government institutions, private institutions, NGOs, and stakeholders to support Agri Women Marketplace by Agri House Foundation to grow this project bigger and bigger. I really thank Agri House. I'm looking forward that in years to come, I will also be one of the sponsors to sponsor Agri House Aztec events. The people there are very selfless. Um, that's one thing I've learned that they're not th they're not winning for themselves alone. So far, I've seen that it's, they want to help. If governments come to the aid of NGOs like AgriHouse, support the one household, one garden, it will be a good initiative, it will be a starting point to ensure that there is food sustainability for all, at least for now. I will plead with the government sectors, especially the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, to help and partner with AgriHouse so that AgriHouse can really do more for us and the students as well. I will plead that any support that they will need, um, the government, the ministerial. Most women are doing something, but they think it's nothing. Before I joined, I was just doing eight products on the market. Now I'm doing 13. And this is because it gives us diverse ways of doing things. And I think that they will need all the support that they, they get. At AgriHouse Foundation, our primary objective is to make farmers happy. And we do this through our interventional projects that we run throughout the year. We have the Garden of the Royals, 
the Livestock, Poultry and Fish Training and Trade Show, the Agri Student Career Guidance and Mentorship Dialogue, the Women in Food and Agri Leadership Training Forum, and the Gold in the Soil Awards, and the Pre Harvest Agri Business Exhibitions and Conference, the One Household, One Garden Initiative, and the Monthly Agri Woman Marketplace. What we basically seek to do is to promote the sector, is to bridge the communications between the farmers and agribusiness and the corporate in, uh, institutions. We try to also develop and change the perception towards agribusiness through our boot camp and basically through all our initiatives. We are excited about the impacts that we've made over the years and we continuously uh, seek to make. Uh, within the years of operation, Farmers have been linked to buyers and we are talking about 97,000 farmers across the value chain in the country. Uh, we talk about the tracks and equipment companies, fertilizer companies, uh, marketing companies, financial institutions who through our market linkage uh, programs have also directly had interactions and business relationships with farmers across the country. We had the pleasure of uh, partnering with AgriHouse Foundation on the pre-harvest event in Tamale. And um, for us, that was a very good experience. Um, again, being able to uh, connect with the players in grounds, meet the farmers, meet the import, uh, importers, meet the distributors, and all different um, uh, players in the market and interact with them. We flew all the way to Tamale to meet companies that are even operating in Accra. In a way, they serve for us as like a one-stop shop kind of place to get a lot of information about the agricultural sector in Ghana. I feel they are well trusted and could uh, really execute uh, and do programs um, on the highest level and bring value um, to the ecosystem. Uh, we ourselves and the uh, Israeli embassy are planning on uh, continuing to work together with Agri House Foundation and supporting them in any way that we can.